Hello, and welcome to the HIV RNA Test Guide podcast, your trusted source for HIV testing with access to over 4,500 plus testing labs across the United States. For more information, check the link in the description below or the bio section of our channel. In today's video, we're discussing a groundbreaking development, a broadly protective HIV vaccine that has shown promising results in monkeys. For the first time, scientists have successfully activated special B cells in rhesus macaques that could lead to the production of broadly neutralizing antibodies, a major step forward in the decades-long fight against HIV. This discovery could finally pave the way toward developing an effective HIV vaccine for humans. But here's the exciting part. By the end of this video, you'll learn why this discovery could change the future of HIV research and testing. So stay tuned until the end as we break down how this works, what's been achieved so far, and what it could mean for millions living with HIV. And if you or someone you know wants to get tested quickly and confidentially, visit HIVRNATestGuide.com with over 4,500 labs across the United States offering quick, affordable, and confidential HIV testing. So let's go over to today's podcast. For decades, finding an HIV vaccine has felt like one of science's greatest, most frustrating challenges. But what if the whole approach was wrong? What if the answer wasn't to fight every single version of the virus, but to find one single master key that could defeat them all? Well, today we're diving into a groundbreaking new study that might have just figured out how to forge that very key. All right, here's our game plan. We'll start with why this vaccine has been so ridiculously hard to make. Then we'll get into this new master key strategy. After that, we'll see the huge challenge of finding the right cells to make it, how researchers had a major breakthrough in monkeys, and finally, what this could all mean for us. So to really get why this new research is such a big deal, we first have to appreciate the massive wall scientists have been running into for years and years. I mean, this has been one of the biggest questions in modern medicine, right? And the answer isn't a lack of trying, is that the virus itself has an incredible, almost diabolical survival strategy. See, unlike a lot of viruses we have vaccines for, HIV is a master of disguise. There are countless different strains out there, and each one mutates so fast that it's like you're trying to hit a target that just keeps changing its shape and its location over and over again. This constant shape-shifting has made all the traditional vaccine approaches pretty much useless. So if you can't possibly hit a million different shape-shifting targets, what do you do? Well, you've got to change the game entirely. And that's what scientists did. They came up with a new way to try and outsmart the virus. And this, right here, is the new strategy. Instead of chasing every single version of the virus, the idea is to find the one part of HIV that doesn't change. It's Achilles' heel, if you will. If you can target that one spot that stays the same, you could train the immune system to create a master key, a very special kind of antibody that can take out a huge range of different HIV strains. This just completely flips the script on what a vaccine is supposed to do. The job is no longer to teach the body how to fight one specific enemy. Instead, it's about teaching the body how to forge this one incredibly powerful master key, what scientists call a broadly neutralizing antibody, or a BNAB. Okay, so this idea sounds brilliant, right? But it immediately smacks into a huge, huge problem. If our bodies have the potential to milk these master keys, where are they? And how on earth do you get them to show up when you need them? You see, our bodies have these little antibody factories called B cells, but the specific B cells that are the starting point, the raw material for making these master key antibodies, well, they are unbelievably rare. And this chart just puts the massive scale of that problem into perspective. A vaccine needs to find and wake up that tiny, tiny fraction of cells. It's like trying to find one specific person in a packed football stadium and somehow get just their attention, ignoring everyone else. And that is where this new study published in Science Immunology comes in. This is the breakthrough. They figured out how to solve that stadium problem, how to shout out to those incredibly rare cells and get them to respond. Their process was just so clever. First, they engineered a special part of the vaccine, an antigen, to act like a super specific beacon. It was designed to attract only the rare B cells they were looking for. After a ton of screening to find the absolute best version, they created a couple of vaccine types and tested them out in rhesus macaques. 
So, after all that brilliant engineering, the big question is, did their beacon actually work? Did it find those rare cells in the stadium? The answer was a huge, definitive yes. And just look at these results. It's remarkable. This chart shows the levels of those target B cells. Before the vaccine, you can see they're practically non-existent. But after just two doses, bam, the levels shoot way up. They saw a really robust production of the exact master key precursor cells they were hoping for. The beacon found its target. And what's really crucial here is that it wasn't just about making more cells. The cells they activated had the right quality. They could recognize proteins that look like the ones on a real natural HIV virus. And even better, the vaccine created long-lasting memory B cells. That's the holy grail of any vaccine, right? To build an army that remembers the enemy for a long, long time. Okay, so this strategy is a home run in monkeys. That's fantastic. But what does it actually mean for humans? Why is this such a potential leap forward in the fight against HIV? Well, the reason everyone is so excited about this is because of how remarkably similar their immune systems are to ours. It makes them a really powerful and predictive model for this kind of research. As you can see here, the fundamental building blocks, our libraries of B cells, are really, really similar. But what's even more important is that the way the antibodies in this study actually latched onto their target was structurally almost identical to how human antibodies do it. That's a huge sign that the same exact mechanism could work in people. So the big takeaway is this. The whole master key strategy is no longer just a cool theory. It's now a demonstrated working model in a primate that's very closely related to us. This gives us a vital proof of concept and really, for the first time, a truly promising blueprint for what an effective human HIV vaccine could look like. Now, let's be clear, there's still a long road ahead. We need human trials and a lot more research, but this study is, without a doubt, one of the most significant and hopeful steps forward in a very long fight. It gives us a powerful new blueprint for what a successful HIV vaccine, and maybe, just maybe, an HIV-free future might finally look like.